friends, I am so glad to be together with you today for a special story time and a song. You know how much we love songs. Today, I want to read together a book with you that we're going to also read in our class. We're reading it. It's called Feast for Ten. And oh, that's that one of our special words, feast, a special meal with lots of food that you can eat with your family. And in this story, it says the feast for 10. Hmm, I wonder what 10 means. A feast for 10 cats? <laughs> no, no, I don't think so because a feast is for people. Um, a feast for 10 dogs? No, I think it's a feast for 10 people. We'll have to find out. In this book, there are lots of numbers. Let's see what happens. The author is Catherine Falwell. Wow. I love the illustrations, the pictures in this book. I read a story that the pictures are really made out of fabric, like what your clothes are made out of. They took pieces of fabric to make the pictures in this book. Isn't that cool? That's very interesting. It says here that, oh, I see something. What do you think it means if there's a grocery cart? Where are the people in this book if they're using a grocery cart? Yeah, they're at the store. Yeah. Hey, where's the little baby? She's sitting in the grocery cart. She is in the grocery cart. Well, we found out information just by looking at this pictures. One cart into the grocery store. Yeah, you were right. They're going to the grocery store. Pumpkins for pie. We know about pumpkin pie. Yeah. We know about pumpkins because what's growing inside of our garden? Two big pumpkins. Three chickens to fry. Hey, where are they putting the food? In the grocery cart. Four children off to look for more. Oh, look, there's one, two, three, four. Four children. Oh, he must be the oldest because he's the tallest. I think she might be the youngest because she is the smallest. Five kinds of beans. Ooh, let's see. They have yellow beans and green beans and lima beans and pinto beans and jelly beans? Wait, jelly beans? That's not a vegetable. That's candy. <gasps> They have candy. Oh, they're getting candy instead of beans. Six bunches of greens. That's kind of um, greens. You can cook those. We need to grow some greens in our garden. Seven dill pickles stuffed in a jar. Ooh. Stuffed, they're really in that jar and there's not much extra room. They're really full in the jar. Eight ripe tomatoes. Oh, those are so red. Where's he going to put those tomatoes? In the bag. Nine plump potatoes. Ten hands help to load the car. There's ten hands all together. Let's see. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I think the baby, she can't help too much. Yeah, because she's too little. Hey, if they're loading up the car, where are they going to go next? Then, one car home from the grocery store. They went home. Oh, wait, who do you think this is? Yeah, that's dad, daddy, yeah. Wait, what happened to the baby? She fell asleep. Sometimes that happens to babies when they ride in the car, it makes them go to sleep. I wonder what they're gonna do next with all that food they bought at the grocery store. Do you have any idea? Yeah. Two will look and three will cook. They're cooking together. Yeah, that's one of our words we're using this week, cooking. They're cooking. I know that because she's using something. She's using a bowl and there's some spices beside the bowl. Four will taste and ask for more. Oh, that's one thing that's nice about cooking is tasting the food to make sure it tastes just right. Oh, can you tell what they're baking? What they're cooking? They're cooking a pie. Oh, they're cooking a pie with the pumpkins that they bought. Wow, they're cooking a pumpkin pie. Five empty cans, six pots and pans. Oh. The pie is gonna go in a place to cook. It's gonna go in the oven. Seven more carrots to wash and peel. Mmm, they're gonna cook carrots next. Eight platters down. A platter is a big plate. It holds lots of food. Whoa, nine chairs around the table. Look, they're setting the table. That's one of our other words we're talking about this week. Setting the table. They're putting the food and the plates and the spoons and the napkins and the cups on the table because it's time to eat. Wow, look at that feast. There's so much food with, for all of their family to eat together. <gasps> 10 hungry folks to share the meal. <gasps> Look, the people are all around the table and they're hungry. What do you do when you're hungry? You get to eat. <gasps> Look, I think who do you think this might be? I think you're right. I think it might be Grandpa. I think that because his hair is gray. Mm -hmm. Who do you think this is? It's Grandma. Yeah. I think it's Grandma too because her hair is gray. When you get older like a Grandma or Grandpa, your hair changes colors. <gasps> Look. Look how everybody feels. They feel so happy. Having a feast, eating food together makes people happy. You get, oh, and look, they're talking together and they're sharing food. Oh, that is so special. The end, wait, 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 wait. What are these little kids doing? <gasps> She's eating the jelly beans. She's eating the jelly beans. Oh, so soon 
there's going to be that special day called Thanksgiving where we can have food together. And it's our day that we say thank you. And so when you're together with your family, you might have a lot of food on the table too. You might be having special food to eat. It's going to be a happy time. Yeah. The end. The end. Oh, I see something on the back. There's that pumpkin pie. Yeah. Hey, so in this book today, I really liked it because it showed people how you get food at the store, at the grocery store, and then you take it home and you can cook it. And at last, when you're finished cooking, you get to eat it. Yeah. Yeah, the end. Well, you know this week we've been talking about turkeys that are for food. And remember how we made a big turkey leg? Let's sing our I Eat Turkey song, you know? Let's do it. Ready? I eat turkey. I eat turkey. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Turkey in my tummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Good for me. Good for you. Oh, eat turkey. We might be doing a lot of that very soon for Thanksgiving. You want to sing it one more time? Let's do it. I eat turkey. I eat turkey. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Turkey in my tummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Good for me. Good for you. Oh, yay! I love that we just had a special story time and song time together. I hope you enjoyed it too. Hey, if you do something together with your family, like maybe you go to the grocery store or you have your groceries, um, you pick them up at the grocery store and take them back to your house, tell me all about it. I would love to hear that. If you cook with your family, let me know. Take a picture, make a video, and we can talk about it together. Uh, that would be so awesome. So friends, I love getting to read a book and sing a song with you. I can't wait until next time, okay? So I hope you had a good time, and I'll see you again soon. Bye, friends.